Hello friends, uh, here, today we are going to learn about how to interpret or how to understand this threads dependency graph. See the thread dependency graph gives you a beautiful visualization of what threads are stuck by what threads. So here uh, is an example. So here you can see this, this is the, uh, whatever you see in this uh, dependency graph is basically the name of the threads. So here you can see this finalizer is the thread name and this thread is stuck by this particular thread AJP bio 192, 168, 100, 41, 70, 78, exec 40 and all these threads, all these threads are stuck on this particular thread. So that's what this graph is trying to tell us and now if I want to understand what's going on, what you can do is you can click on the name of the thread in the graph. When you click, you are going to see the stack trace of this particular thread. See here, you can see this thread is the finalizer thread. It started executing the code. It's coming up. And here you can see it is waiting to lock this particular object, JTDS connection. So let's just focus on this lock ID, which is 98F0. I'm just uh, highlighting the last four digits so that it's easy for us to remember 98F0 since it is waiting to obtain this lock this thread has entered into the blocked state okay so now let me close this but this step this thread is stuck is blocked by this particular thread so now let's see what this thread is doing so now I'm clicking I'm, I'm seeing the stack trace it's coming up here you can see ah this 98F0. So this is the lock ID for which the finalizer thread is waiting. You can see this thread has obtained this lock. It has obtained this the lock of 98F0. And then after that it ex started executing the other statements in the application. Uh, and, then, and then this thread started to wait on this particular lock. On this particular lock 6E10. I'm just focusing on the last four digits, 6E10, basically on this object, simple LRU reflection cache. So since it is it is waiting to obtain this lock, this thread also enter into this blocked state. So now I'm coming over here. So as now we know that this thread is blocked by this particular thread. So now let me click on this thread. Here you can see this thread obtained this lock 6E10 you can see it is locked but then after obtaining this lock this thread started entering into the blocked state on this particular uh, line simple LRU reflection cache dot java line number 31 apparently it turned out that this is the you can see it is uh, from a com compuware APM agent so this application was using an APM agent Apparently this APM agent in this version had a bug due to which it obtained the lock and it was never releasing so that all the threads which were coming after it they were, they were also transitively getting blocked. So once this application they upgraded this APM agent version then the problem got resolved. See what we saw is a much detailed analysis but in the fast thread application at the very top or at the top above the section it tries to lay out in a simple easily understandable English text to see what's going on or what you need to look so here it shows this thread is stuck on this particular class in this particular method on line number 31 due to which all these threads are being blocked so it tries to explain you in a simple English text so you can also look into this uh, warning signs or, or this where you say this as a danger icons so it will it will explain you in simple english text what's going on okay i hope you found this uh, to be helpful thank you